Hey everyone, I hope all of you are doing great. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to send emails using Ansible. So what you see on the screen is that I have a playbook which is having a task of installing Apache HTTP server. Now let's assume I want to send the completion status of this task to my email ID. So in that case, we are we can use Ansible's mail module in order to send the email. So I already have the details here. I'm just going to copy it and paste it here. And the important thing here is that you need to provide host which is going to be SMTP host. You are typically going to get these details uh, from your system administrator or SMTP administrator in your organization. Then provide the port, provide the username and password. If you do not have username and password, just leave it blank. And then in the from, provide the email ID using which this email is going to be sent. Then in the to, you can provide the recipient whom you want to send this email. Then in the subject, what I have done is I'm just using a variable name which is a magic variable as well. I'm going to discuss about magic variables in our upcoming sessions. Now what this Ansible play name does is it is basically going to replace this variable with the name of the Ansible playbook which is install Apache playbook in this case. So I'm saying that install Apache playbook has completed and then again in the body we can write whatever we want to write and secure I'm going to use start TLS again this detail you should be getting from your system administrator. Now in the two what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use mailinator so mailinator just gives us you know free public email box so I'm just going to write with and we should be getting an email box. So here you can see we can use now Vikas at the rate mailinator dot com and then in body we want to send the result. So what we are doing is we are capturing the result of this installation in a variable which is in called install apache again i have discussed about register variable in previous lesson so go ahead and watch that one as well so what we can do is we can make use of this variable so inside the body i'm going to write this variable name and before this we can write here are the results and that's it we should be able to run this task now so you can see the task has executed successfully Let's go ahead and here we can see we have received the email. Now if we open the email we can see we have got here are the result and this is the output of the register variable. So here we can see you now we have got basically key value pair. Now if you want to send attachments you can do that as well. In order to add attachments you can use attach and then you can provide list of files. So in this case I have tm under tmp directory I have a file which is called uh, sysinfo if I'm not mistaken. Let me just check it here. Yes I do have a file which is called sysinfo and then I have a file which which is called sysinfo.txt. So I'm going to say sysinfo.txt and then uh, let's just add one more file which is sysinfo. So now it is going to attach both of these files while sending the email. So let's clear the screen, run it again and the email has been sent successfully again. So we can go here. Uh, but one thing here is that I think it doesn't allow us to see the attachments. Yes, you can see that uh, this doesn't allow us to see the attachment on the free plan. So what we are going to do is we have to use some actual email account. So what I will do is I will use my Outlook account. We have to replace this. Now this time I want to send the email to my other email account. Save it. Run it again. And if everything goes well, we are going to get an email with the attachments. So task has completed successfully, which means we should be getting an email here with the attachments. Here you go. We have got the email and it is also showing attachment. It means we have received the attachment. Here you can see we have re received both the files as an attachment. Next lesson, what we are going to do is we are going to use templates and then using templates, I'm going to show you how you can generate beautiful email body. So that's all in this lesson. See you again in the next lesson.